This week, I was asked a question about security when it comes to video conferencing as a clinician. So in this AMA, I'm going to talk about Google Meets, Microsoft Teams and Zoom. Um, I've done a little bit of digging, a little bit of uh, looking at what the NHS say, things like that. So I will uh, give you a kind of update. So in terms of the NHS, they chose to go with Microsoft Teams, which I can completely understand. Um, Microsoft Teams was, a, was originally designed for businesses to interact within the business. So I can completely see why that solution works best for the NHS. Um, however, they have said that the, any video software, as far as they're concerned, um, is okay to use. So that's a, a thumbs up. So Zoom, Meets and Teams, they're happy for, for any of those to be the, the software of choice. They have said that you need to do your own risk assessment, which I completely agree with. So things like enabling a waiting room um, and make sure that your meetings have got passwords are two really great ways to make sure that the when you send out the information that it's only the client that has that information and therefore only the client that can join and with the waiting room you can see so if somebody does join the meeting for some reason you can see that and they don't immediately pop up into the meeting so that's the, those two are quite good bits to make sure that you're doing for confidentiality reasons in terms of the behind the scenes piece Zoom over, I don't think Zoom were expecting the kind of pandemic and then suddenly the, there was this huge floodgate to use Zoom. And because of that, their security measures have been updating um, over the last 12, 18 months. But there has been some security issues over that time. Um, and I think personally, I think Zoom have done a really good job of recognising when there is a problem and very quickly fixing it. So their security, now they've got end-to-end um, encryption now you can lock the meeting so that no one else can come in and they've updated all of their security and they also have a roadmap to continue updating their security as well so it's only going to get better in terms of google meets that is sort of one step up from zoom in in terms of security and we're talking about good to great rather than talking about one that's that's good and one that's rubbish they're all all perfectly okay to use and perfectly secure for you to use as a clinician um google meets they say it's a little bit better just because google meets has a team the team element and it's back to that whole you know within a company element um and so so that one can lock down information between people in a certain business and then Teams is sort of the latter one. I think Microsoft build things with security in mind. So therefore they kind of built it from that point to start off with. So, um, but then the kind of user interface may be not quite as slick where for me, Zoom is kind of really user-friendly. Um, so it, I guess it's personal choice over which one you like best, which one you find the easiest to use and um, go from there. But no, rest assured that they are all secure enough for you to use in terms of confidentiality. I think the other element of confidentiality is preparing your clients. So to make sure that they have considered where they are when they're doing the call with you, that they are in a, a private space where they won't be disturbed so for that i created a online sessions information sheet um, and i'm more than happy to put a word editable version of that document in the description below and you can download that and then you can change the branding to your branding and you can you can amend it to match your business and your needs um, but it might give you a bit of guidance in terms of what to include um, and if you want that just go to the description below and you can download it for free so i hope that has eased your concerns in terms of the security of using video conferencing software there's also um I've just something popped into my head then about doxy.me. It's another system, but that was set up 
for clinicians. So it has more of a feel of the waiting room where you call people in one to one. You can keep your client notes on the same system, that sort of thing. So if you're looking for more of an all together system, then perhaps look at Doxy.me. I've done other videos about all these different systems. So do have a bit of search on the Build It Brilliant YouTube channel for my other videos relating to Meets, Zoom, um, Teams and Doxy.me. Okay, that's it for this AMA video. I hope you found that useful and I will see you next week for the next AMA.